Who? What is up, everybody? Welcome once again to my channel, and today let's continue with some more F1 2018 career mode. Of course, we are still in the F1 2019 season mode. We are still in the Toro Rosso team, and today we are at the Albert Park Circuit, home of the Australian Grand Prix. So, first of all, let's dive into our workstation. Uh, and as you guys can see, we have quite a few messages for us. So let's take a look. We have the contract summary. We have a goals update. We have to qualify eight or better in the next uh, qualifying session. Uh, we have the softs, super softs, and ultra softs at our disposal. In terms of uh, developments completed, we had quite a few of them, and it's going to be a dry uh, in the prediction for uh, the qualifying and uh, the race. In terms of our contracts, our value supersedes the value of the contract, which is great. Moving to our rivalries, we are about to beat Kimi Raikkonen, and we are leading the rivalry against Alex Albon, which is always great. Just give me a moment, I will lower the music just a that because for me it's a bit loud okay there it is um in terms of the research and development we moved up to third best team sorry not third fifth best team hey stano welcome to the live stream how are you doing we moved to fifth best team in terms of the r d uh progress as you guys can see mercedes and red bull improved since last season Toro Rosso improved since last season we improved as well has improved uh, Toro uh, not Toro Rosso uh, uh, Alfa Romeo and Williams all improved during the offseason. The teams that regressed were Ferrari, Renault and McLaren. So, yeah, the Ferrari especially, they just got overtaken by Racing Point as the best, uh, as the third best team. So, let's see how that develops throughout the season. Moving to the vehicle performance, of course, everything is alright. We still have to do anything uh, in this season and as you guys can see from the standings Valtteri Bottas was the championship winner in the previous season so yeah hey Alex welcome to the live stream how are you doing man how are you doing uh, by the way guys today I will be live streaming it depends a bit on like my brother because of course my brother sleeps in the same room as I sleep and I don't know if he's getting to work tomorrow or not but if possible I'm going to live stream until uh, FP3 at China starts or until qualifying starts. I'm not sure yet uh, And of course it depends on the on my brother's schedule But because of course I, I would like to let him sleep if he goes to work tomorrow, but maybe I am able to stream until uh, Until FP3 starts or until qualifying starts. Hey Yarvine, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing man? Yeah, moving. Uh, so yeah, I think everything is fine now, and let's get started with the first practice session for uh, this Australian uh, Grand Prix. Let's get to it. Welcome to Melbourne, where the practice session is about to start for this weekend's Australian Grand Prix. The pre-race talking is over. Now it's time for the drivers to show their worth. An opportunity here then for the drivers to learn the track and learn the car and of course work out all the little kinks that show up when the teams put these cars together at the circuit. Anthony Davidson, this is all very familiar to you of course, so why don't you give us an idea as to what the drivers will be getting up to in these sessions? I'd say the first responsibility for drivers during pre-practice is in gathering data for correlation purposes, which allows the engineers to match real-life data against the simulation. Secondly, the driver then needs to dial themselves into a circuit that they may not have driven around for a full year, which is a fact that's often overlooked. And then you finally focus on the details of car setup and the tire wear. It's critical to have a good relationship with your engineer here so they can make the right adjustments at the right time to the car that ultimately bring out the performance you're looking for. Uh, hey, Makindu. Yes, I do, remem I do remember you. I don't speak over the introduction. That's why I wasn't answering. But welcome to the live stream. How are you doing? Okay, so let's get a setup fitted to the car uh, real quick. Load setup. And where is... I have this one for Australia. I, I don't know if this is good or not, but I'm going to roll with it and see if I need to make some adjustments. God damn it. That's some aggressive anti-roll bars. <laughs> Oh boy, 10 ballast as well. Okay, let's see how the car behaves. Let's go for uh, the track acclimatization program. Let's drive out. <laughs> let's see how it goes. Like a rubber out on track. Try to take 
it easy for a couple of laps. Oh, sorry about that. I just eat. God damn it. Okay, sorry about that. I just hit the, mi the microphone a couple times there. What? Okay. Th this is a fine start to the season, lads. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Do you like driving with balanced setups? Uh, yeah, I will just see how the car behaves. And if I need to do any adjustments, I will make them. Just testing the thing real quick. Okay. Yeah, this car turns in very well, but it's... That ballast is very aggressive. See there? I'm going to just turn on the line real quick just to like get just like to refresh my memory on the breaking points. I will disable it for qualifying and the race of course. I know how to drive this track, I'm just I just need to remind myself. <laughs> hey Miguel, what's up? Boas. Yeah, at least the car turns in very well. Hey Pedro, Boas, what's up man? How are you doing? But yeah, let's just get my memory refreshed on the breaking points. But yeah, I will have to bring back the, the ballast a bit, because the car is turning well, the car is turning in too well. <laughs> You see there, I barely got into the corner and he already was uh, and the car wa was already trying to put me in the inside wall. Okay. Oh boy. Can I still get purple despite missing that corner? Am I not answering you? I, I did answer you. Like, you said that you hate this team. I, I have nothing to answer to that. That's just your opinion. And that's fine. You are allowed to not like a team. Oh, we didn't get purple. By five points, man, I didn't get that purple. Hey, Alshandr, welcome to the livestream. How are you doing, man? Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't mind me, the car is just trying to kill me. Yeah, I'm going to have to reduce this ballast. I'm happy with the setup. But the ballast is a bit too much. Yeah, it's about 60 meters away from this corner that you have to break. That will be a tough one to, to break consistently for. Because I don't really have a, have a reference for it. For that one I just break like half a second after the, the 50 meter marker. It's about 40 or 30 meter away from the corner that I break for turn 11. And that's a perfect lap for you. 
Where am I going to the grass while turning? Uh, that was because I had to con to try to... Co the, I was losing the rear, so I had to correct the car. So I, I went into the grass because I was trying to correct the car. Hey, Joaquin Peterson. What's up, man? How are you doing? Um, am I hyped for F1 2019? I am. I usually am not uh, excited for a game like this. But for some reason, I actually got excited for F1 2019. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. So, what do I need? I need... I need to adjust the ballast. Yeah, that's it. And ballast to 9. And now, because I need the resource points, I'll actually do these other practice programs. Uh, I would actually... I would normally not do them, but because uh, it's... Well... Okay, Makindo, see you later, man. Hopefully. Have a good day, man. But, uh, yeah, I, we need the resource points. I want to try to get this thing to the top as quickly as possible. Oh, my God. I think I have to bring the, the thing to wait. I have to be very cautious with eating these curbs. Turned in a bit too early there. Hmm, this delta is quick. See that? God damn it. What are my top three uh, predictions for quality? Leclerc, Hamilton, Vettel. I expect Leclerc to win Baku, by the way. What he did last season with that Alfa Romeo? Yeah, he's Mr. Baku. He really is very strong at Baku. So I expect him to win there. Program complete and a job well done. We got okay. data with that run, so come on back to the garage and I can talk you through the numbers. Let's get back to the garage. Uh but yeah, I really expect Leclerc to win at Baku. Okay, so next up what do we have? I have to change to 8 ballast because the car is still trying to kill me not as hardcore but it's still trying to kill me let's move to the fuel management there's an icy tumor but he screams way too much i don't know i honestly i i respect the guy like of course he his formula he works man people criticize him for being like scripted and all that honestly i don't really care he's successful with it so People are still watching, people are still subscribing, he's still growing, so... He must be doing something right. Oh yeah, I can't change fuel or ERS for this one. Leclerc Bottas Vettel. I mean, I could agree with that if Hamilton has problems. Wow, this Delta, god damn it. I'm going to have to be aggressive in the high speed chicane. Done. <laughs> and I'm still going to lose this.
Oh boy. What I want to pay back from last year's Grand Prix? I don't remember what happened in last year's Grand Prix. Okay, I need to do it another time. God damn it, just one more lap. Couldn't get back on the turtle as early as I wanted there, but... Oh boy. Yeah, I just went over that sausage curb. That isn't healthy for the car. I was trying to just kinda cheese it. Okay, we are getting green. I'm happy with this. Return to the garage. <laughs> Let's get going. Uh, I was leading, but Toro Rosso boys crashed and Ricardo got free pit stop and overtook everyone. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Um, let's move to the race strategy. I won't do the RS one. Let's move to the race strategy and then to the qualifying simulation. And see how it goes. Hey, LGS. What's up, man? How are you doing? Uh, it's about practice, Yarvine. Like, again, no one was born into driving without assists. Like, it comes to, to practice. Like, for example, just try this. When 2019 comes out, disable all the assists you want to disable uh, right off the gate. So you don't learn, like... Because if you start playing with assists... You have to learn how to be quick with assists, and then you have to unlearn that, so to speak, to learn how to be quick without the assists. So, if you just start F1 2019 without the assists, you just learn that game without them, and you move from there. That's how I did. Uh, I started playing, like, F1 2015, it was going to be a new driving model, or a new handling model. So what I did was just, I got F1 2015, I disabled everything. And I learned the game from there. You weren't expecting another F1 stream? Yeah, I know, but uh, I'm, I'm excited to play this today. So, yeah. I'm going to actually do multiple live streams today. I'm going to try to live stream until uh, FP3 starts. Or until qualifying starts. Again, it depends. Uh, it depends on my brother, because he has work tomorrow. I just, I mean, I don't know if he has work tomorrow, and I don't know at what time he starts working. So, yeah, it depends a bit on him, on his schedule. But, um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll live stream multiple times today. Oh boy, that understeer there. Or until my brother turns me out. <laughs> yes, FP3 in real life. Oh, I know, but I'm driving with the controller. Okay. I drive it manual gears and then... God damn it, I'm trying to reach that. Yeah, with the controller, I guess it's harder. But still, there are people out there who couldn't be very competitive with the pad, so... I guess it's possible.
Like, there are people with the pad that are quicker than me with the wheel, so... Hey, Persak, what's up, man? How are you doing? These deltas are kind of hard, man. I have to, like, corner cut and stuff. Turned into early there. God damn it. Yep, I just lost all of my time there. Okay, just two more laps in the green. Let's do this. Why am I in the Toro Rosso? Because I'm going to take Toro Rosso until a championship. Uh, I don't need to win a Constructors' Championship. I just want to win a Drivers' Championship with Toro Rosso. And only after that I will move teams. That's that's how I've been doing uh, all my career modes. Uh, I, I race with a team until I win a, a Drivers' Championship with that team. And only after that I change teams. By the way, Patrick, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing, man? Uh, France in the wet is very good, man. Like, the AI sucks in the wet at France. Hey Noid Rate, what's up man? How are you doing? Hey Blob, what's up? Are you late? No, I'm still in practice. Yeah, if you want you could just retire and jump the French Grand Prix altogether. Hey Makindu, welcome back. Okay, got it. We're getting great data. Stay focused. Let's get back to the garage. Hey, Jam Parody, welcome to the live stream. Yes, it's been a while, man. How, how are you doing? Oh, as you guys can see on the graphic, we were quick, but we also conserved the tire, which is great, man. That's awesome. And let's, uh, should I try the qualifying pace? Let's see if I can get at least green. I just feel like, mm. This is so harsh. <laughs> the front suspension, man, it's just so... I 
I don't know what to do. I would like to improve the weight distribution. Like I would like to raise the ballast by one. But that will get but also find a way to make the car a bit more stable. But I don't know how to do that. So I'll keep myself in eight. And let's just jump to, to the qualifying pace. And and let's just see how it goes. Hey Javi, what's up? How are you doing, man? You restarted your career and did Williams? Yeah, I'm going to do that in F1 2019. Uh, once the F1 2018 game dropped, I started the career mode with Williams. But uh, the save file got glitched, so I had to... I had to stop that one. Do I watch WWE? Not anymore. I used to watch it, but I don't watch it anymore. Uh, because I, I actually don't have a channel that uh, broadcasts WWE here in Portugal, so... But yeah, I, like when I was a kid, it would broadcast and I would watch it. Oh boy, these deltas, wow. <laughs> I gave it... I pushed too hard. I pushed too hard there. I've I've run out of ERS, god damn it. We all want to rerun the program if we can't improve on that time. I carry too much speed there. Shouldn't take the sausage curb. Yeah, I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to. I'm just trying to... I'm pushing myself too hard because this goddamn Delta is ruining my life. <laughs> Let me see how much I can cheese. Hey, Ravi. Welcome to the live stream, man. How are you doing? Nah, I can't even cheese the, the chicane. Yeah, I completely ran out of, of ERS. Let me try it again. I go to Williams, I'll keep trying to win the championship and my viewers will like me. Well, maybe they will. Guess I'll find out. I need more brake pressure. Yeah, I need more brake pressure. Um, whatever. I won't do the qualifying simulation, but yeah. Let's just get to the garage.
Let's uh, let's increase that. Okay, uh, 88. And yeah, I'll just let's just jump to to qualifying. Uh, Cars are now over the line. Your top three again are Bottas, Ricardo, and Max Verstappen. That's it for practice. Then we'll see you again soon. Wait, what? My teammate. My teammate is one and a half seconds quicker than me. Nah, this is the AI is bullshitting me. <laughs> Sorry about. That. I I'm I'm going to bring it down to. Yeah, 107. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it 107, and and we'll see. Cause like I, I have a top five car now, so yeah. So let's collect our resource points. And so season objectives, okay. Expect us to be somewhere around the middle of the field. I expect that as well. There is no forcing this idea. Yeah, that's racing point. Should you start 2019 career with Racing Point, Toro Rosso or Williams? Uh, depends on what you want, really. Like, both Racing Point and Williams have the Mercedes power unit, so you can you can neglect upgrades on the power unit for a while while you upgrade the chassis and aerodynamics. Uh, Toro Rosso will be more of a balanced car, so you have to work on everything at once, really. Uh, so it depends on what you want. Do you want a car that you can build around an engine? Or do you want to be working on everything along the way? So, okay, everything is alright. Uh, let's see what... Do we have an, uh, enough points for any upgrades? No, we don't at the moment. After qualifying, I'm sure I'm going to have enough to upgrade the power unit there. Let's get ourselves to, to qualifying. Le let's do this. Why this team? Uh, because I'm enjoying it. I never did a career mode with it. So yeah. Welcome to Melbourne, where qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix should be getting underway shortly. Looking at this field today, Ants, do you think we're going to see anyone take a chance? Maybe run the harder of the available compounds and save some of the grippy tyres for the race tomorrow? Well, I'd be surprised in all honesty. It's only the front runners that really have the pace to get away with that. And even then, at the end of the day, it's a big risk. Track position is the most important thing, and it's rarely worth sacrificing for a slightly more optimal strategy in the race, so I doubt we're going to see anyone trying it. I have been wrong before though, we certainly do see some risky decisions every now and then, and it's a gamble that's sometimes worth taking, but if it were me in the car, I would want to be on the fastest tyre for my qualifying lap, without a doubt. Okay, so... Let us take the ultra softs. Let me get a, cu a couple laps of fuel, and just go for a couple flying laps. All complete. Mechanics, please stand clear. We're ready to go. Hey RJW, what's up man? How are you doing? No Makindo, I did a, a season of a career mode. I didn't do an entire career mode. A career mode is multiple seasons. Oh, the grip feels so much better now. Okay, so... Hey Jamie, what's up man? What happened last night with the live video not working? Um, I don't know man, it, it was weird. But I got it to work. Uh, it was just my internet that was taking a crap on me. But I got it to work and we actually ended up doing the race. 
Maybe you didn't uh, get the notification when I restarted the live stream. Okay, boys, let's do this. Oh, come on, Paris. F. Rip? <laughs> yeah, I'll just have to restart. Let me just restart the session. Uh, car setup. Back and... Yeah, let's drive out. Yeah, no, the rate it means RJW is a mod. Oh boy, that's what I get for looking at chat. But yeah, a marking though. I'll just I'll just stay with the with this team until I win a championship. Like I will change I will go to Red Bull after I win a championship with this team, but first I will just win the championship with it. Okay. That was a bit weird. No, I get to turn one and I see Perez again there. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot, um... Bottled it. That's what I get for accelerating on the curb. God damn it, man. Do I like cockpit cam? Yes, I, that's what I'm I'm uh, uh, used to. Hey, Keegan, welcome to the live stream. What are you doing, man? Why is my car so unstable now? I didn't change anything. I only put more fuel. What's going on? God damn it. <laughs> Yeah. Let me just do a cooldown lap, just recover my energy in the battery and go for another quick lap. Hey Ian, welcome to the live stream man, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, if I don't get the goals the team has set for me, I will be set. Yeah.
Yeah, I've been I've been uh, fired once from Mercedes. I've been fired from Mercedes. Uh, after I, like, it's funny because I got sacked from Mercedes in the same grom at the end of the same Grand Prix where I overtook Hamilton in the championship standings. So I got myself in front of him, and I still got sacked. <laughs> okay, I need to focus. That's that's my teammate. Go around me. Oh my god, are you assuming Emma Emma Jenkins gender? God damn it, man. <laughs> God damn it, I'm turning in too early. This is the thing I hate about the racing line. I don't... Now I went too late. This is the thing I don't like about not having the racing line. Like, I can't find... Because, like, I use the racing line not really to know where to brake, but more to know what speed I'm carrying through the corner. Right? I, I brake until I get the line in the yellow. And and then I know I can I need to stop breaking. Uh, so yeah. That was very late there. Yeah, I ran out of... Uh, I'm getting to the pits. I ran out of VRS. Why do I break commands? I'm not a religion. I don't follow any religion. If you follow any religions, good for you, man. Uh, you do you, but I do me. If you follow any religion, that's great for you, man. But I, I don't, I don't do that. I don't, I don't follow it. So I don't need to 
follow rules of something I, I'm not a part of. Okay, so let's get to the pits. And so, what do I have to do? Um, I would like the car to be a bit better in the slow speed corners. Or maybe the problem is me. Maybe I'm the one who sucks, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so... Our best lap so far is a one yeah. 21.4 I'm getting my ass kicked for by this AI. Uh, I'm going to have to lower it a bit. I think I'll have to drop it to like 105 because I'm getting my ass kicked at the moment. Like again, I never pre I never pretended to be the best driver ever, so yeah, I'm not That's just it. I'm not the best driver ever, so I'm not going to to pretend I am. Besides, it's not fun to be like, yes, I'm in 110 AI, last every race. It's not fun, so yeah. Uh, oh, Igor, welcome to the live stream. How, how are you doing, man? But yeah, Makindu, I don't go to church because I don't follow a, a religion. I, I just don't. I honestly don't care. Like, if any god exists, great. If it doesn't, great as well. Uh, I don't... I think I think my life is controlled by my decisions, by my actions, not by some arbitrary thing that might or might not exist. It's whatever. Uh, so we have a couple minutes to wait. I will accelerate time a bit. Of course, I don't want too much because I don't want to get the AI uh, to do kind of BS simulated lap times. Do I have enough time? I'm going out Everyone there. Ready? I'm going to do two okay, flying laps. Go. It's raining and it, and you are on the soft tires. What are you doing on the soft tires if it's raining then? <laughs> hey, Edward, what's up, man? How are you doing? Following the stream in your left eye, do you have like the Dragon Ball Z, like the the things? The, I don't remember the name of them. Do you have like those mini things that the the Freezer Squad was using? Okay, I pressed three times, my wheel didn't downshift. Yeah, my left... My left uh, shifting pedal is kicking the bucket. It's not... It's not doing what I want it to do every single time. God damn it, man. I can never have trust on the car now because my paddle shifter is not working properly. Science, get the hell out of the way, man.
I went too late on the brakes there. Just a left tap on the wall. I took a bad angle to that second corner, god damn it. Oh well. Let me try that again. Wow. The car is more unstable now than what it was before. You know what? No, I'm going for another lap. I'm such a bad driver, uh, and so what? I never pretended not to be. Like, what the hell? Are you the only one that uses full quality? Uh, I used to do full quality as well, but it took too long on the live stream. So that's why I'm doing like short quality now. Oh, I have someone behind me. Oh, I let you go because I thought it was going to go. Looks like not. Like, is people going to go or what? I have stuff to do. Okay, I I'm gonna let you go, Gosley, and go. Thank you very much. God damn it, man. Okay, let's do this. Went too many downshifts, god damn it. Okay, P16, yeah. Why was I mean to signs? I wasn't mean to signs. I, I slowed down to let him through and he just stopped. <laughs> he just wasted my time, basically. Okay, 
The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow, where we'll be live with all the action. And until... Uh, don't worry, like, don't worry really, I don't really care, uh, I'm not, like, people don't really surprise me, so, yeah, it, it takes a bit to get under my skin, <laughs> don't worry about that. Bad luck in qualifying, that's not exactly ideal, but there's no points for Saturday, keep a cool head and make up for it in the race. Okay, so do I have enough points to upgrade the engine? Let's see. No, we don't by so little. God damn it. Okay. Um. So yeah, let's just, let's just get to the race, I guess. Oh, it's just going to... Oh, okay. So, give me a moment. Yeah, I'll bring down the difficulty. Because, like, Alban is top 5. I'm I'm top... <laughs> I'm top 15. No, not even that. I'm 16th place and Alban is P5. Yeah, right. Uh, Yeah, let me get to it. And, yeah, I'll bring it down to 105. I think this is the proper... I think I'm also a bit slower than usual, because I'm a bit slower than usual because I'm not using the racing line. I'm trying to adapt myself to not using the racing line, so. That's basically it. New drivers, new cars, and a new Formula One season. But it's the same Albert Park that we've come to know and love for more than two decades now that hosts the first round of a 21 race championship, taking us from here in Melbourne, Australia, across the globe, before we eventually reach the season finale at Yas Marina Circuit in Abu Dhabi. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria, where the drivers have 16 corners and 3.3 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles an hour. The close proximity of the barriers makes accidents inevitable and recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. I'm joined today in the commentary box as I will be throughout this season by a great racing driver, former F1 competitor, man who was world champion once upon a time as well and an all-round top champ. It's the one and only Anthony Davidson. And tell me, here we are, first Grand Prix of the season, the first time racing these cars. So what are the big questions that need to be answered here, in your view? First of all, Crofty, and thanks for the glowing introduction. I just want to say, it's a real privilege to be here. That Hamilton teleports, though. What the field has in store for us this season. Now, to answer your question, obviously there's the question of performance in race trim, but really this is going to be all about reliability. It's the first Grand Prix of the season, don't forget. You're pushing all your new components to their limits. Formula One cars are full of very sophisticated, but also very sensitive technology. So the most important thing today is to get to the end of the race, keep everything in good condition, and try to stay out of trouble while you're at it. I qualified in 16th. Let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Pierre Gasly in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Brendan Hartley, and Hulkenberg, Leclerc, Vettel, Perez, and Daniel Ricciardo, Stroll, Raikkonen, Roman Grosjean, and Magnussen, Sainz, the captain, Marcus Ericsson, and Fernando Alonso, Van Dorn, and Sergei Sorokin rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Okay, so. Okay, be wary of the cars ahead breaking suddenly into one. We could ruin our race if we hit them. Good luck. Yeah, I'm fine with this strategy. Uh. So yeah, let's do this. Let's get to the formation lap first. Of course, get everything nice and warmed up. Okay, 
car system checks are good. We need to stay in formation and start bringing the car up to temperature, please. Get some load into the tires and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the end of the lap. Let's just try to get signs a couple car lengths away from me. I really just think like how aggressive I could be <laughs> until I put it in the wall. I warmed up the tires at least. If you spin, you warm up your tires. <laughs> hey Timu, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing? Uh, why is this? Uh, maybe you are using too high uh, revs, Timu. By the way, Timu, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing? But, uh, but yeah, maybe you are using too many, like, mem maybe you have to try and short shift a bit, or not be as aggressive. Because, like, for example, if you go to the purple, if you go like this, you use lots of fuel. So try to upshift in the red, like, try to upshift like that, you know? Let me get some space to Norris. Like, maybe you are going to the purple. Try to upshift in the red. Oh, when the race starts, your car is underfueled. Uh, that's because during practice you are using too much uh, fuel, so the game calculates your fuel usage. It's a bit hard to explain, but um, maybe you are using too much fuel during practice. Maybe you are just being too aggressive with your driving. I have I have that issue uh, I have that issue in uh, Singapore in Singapore I always start the race under fueled even if I put the the tank to full that was a quick lights going out sequence oh boy Grosjean really came across the track there God, these guys in the first lap, they just break so early. No, they, uh, if, if, if you save fuel too well, you would always be in the positive. Even throughout the race, you would be gaining fuel. You wouldn't have to run lean mix if you are good on saving fuel, uh, according to the game. Like, if you are, if you are running on standard fuel mix, and you are still losing fuel, uh, then you are you are being too aggressive with the the with the fuel usage, really. If the team was giving you too little fuel for the race, then you could always increase the amount of fuel in the in the strategic menu, right? But if you are with a full tank and still under fueled, that's because you are using too much fuel. God damn it, man. My pedal shifter is not working. Look at that. I pressed three times to go from seventh to sixth. Okay, let's try to make some moves now. Oh god, they are so slow. Who's leading this train? Is that a Red Bull? That guy might have... Oh my god. Get ready to get brake checked, because if that guy has wing damage...
this ERS deployment. It's time to use some of this charge. Yeah, then yeah, you are really using too much fuel. Like, are you doing the are you doing the fuel uh, practice program? Try to do that one, and try to get a, at least green. Yeah, that, that's weird, man. But yeah, like... Oh, Alban is getting challenged by Vettel. Vettel is in 8. Wow. He was so slow on the brakes. I guess that's because he has super softs, but... God damn it. Well, awesome! That, oh my god! That's what I get for looking at chat. Like, Alban has damage, right? Yeah, Alban has damage on the right side of his wing. Yeah, he has damage there. Look up uh, how slow he is. Oh my god. I pressed like six times, man. Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. It's not downshifting. Wait. Okay, this is a mess. Give me a moment, guys. Like, what's going on, man? You guys can listen to the click, right? Now it's doing it. Uh, you can't do the you can't do the race strategy program with Rich Mix. Uh, it doesn't allow you to change through it. Okay, why does it not work when I'm driving? See, when I get the wheel down here... Okay, Makindo, see you later, man. Okay, let's see if it finally starts working again. Holy hell! Yeah, I'm not using this setup ever again. <laughs> But yeah, team, we have fun, man. Have a good day. Battery charge is high. Let's increase ERS deployment. Okay, so it looks like it's working now, so I can try and push and catch Perez. Ruben, when I do 100% AI, I'm always last 5 seconds behind leader and 2 seconds behind 19s. What? That's a pretty short... You mean in qualifying? Yeah, that means you you are just too slow. Maybe it's... Maybe it's a, it's a, it's a setup thing? Maybe you are just not at 
um, maybe it's just not your setup, you aren't as comfortable, or maybe you just have to practice more to try and get quicker. It's like, I wasn't born into, into whatever I can do, right? It, it takes time. For example, right now I'm kind of sucking at this track without the racing line, because I'm kind of not used to it. But by the end of the race, I'll be much better at it. Also, I'm not very comfortable with this setup, which doesn't help. But I'm still going to try to adapt, really, to be honest. Like, the car understeers, but then oversteers because of the ballast. The car understeers, but then because I'm turning in more and I have so high ballast, the car starts oversteering. So I go from, from understeer to snap oversteer, which isn't great. Yeah, I'm not using this setup anymore. Here comes Raikkonen. He has DRS. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Oh, the yellow flag was caused. No idea why, though, but... Yeah, 110 is maybe too high. Dude, I'm sorry, man. I cannot pronounce your name, but welcome to the live stream. And I also cannot read the language you wrote on chat. So, yeah, maybe try English next time. But welcome to the live stream, nonetheless. How are you doing? Okay, I'm just going to try and focus for a couple laps, guys. Sorry if I ignore chat for like five, five laps. Just going to try and pull away from Kimi. I have softer tires, so that shouldn't be much of a problem pulling away. I have to pit stop in lap 14. Okay. Virtual safety car deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. Virtual safety car is so deployed. someone retired. Some information on Verstappen. They are out of the race. Oh, it's Verstappen! Yeah, Max Verstappen is out of this Grand Prix, which is very unfortunate for him. Uh, Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to see. God damn it! Who retired? Okay, we managed to get Kimi. Do I play F1 2017? Uh, no, I don't play it. I don't play it anymore. Uh, I rarely go back to previous games. On downshift. God damn it, it's a freaking 500 euro wheel, man. I'm never buying Trustmaster again.
Turn 4 for me, I always miss the turning in point. What does it show that I'm playing F1 2017? Uh, well, that's wrong. Maybe YouTube is just trolling me. Apparently, I uh, last season's race, I did without the racing line. I think it's also the fact that I'm not comfortable with this setup. And also the fact that off the times I can't downshift properly. Yeah, I do the first corner in fifth. God damn it, man. The setup is too stiff. Maybe that's it, yeah. I will never use this setup again. I don't know how many times I've used this setup before because like it takes so long for me to complete the season that by the time I get to another race, like I don't I don't know what setups I used in the le in the season pre uh, previous to that, right? So whatever. We're going to adapt to it. Well, let it be. Uh, if he's trolling, at least he's increasing my average uh, comments per minute, which is helping my content. So that's great. He's helping me either way. Oh. That was a bit too late on the brakes, it comes Kimmy. Oh god, he was so slow. Yeah, and now the dirty air is starting to kick in. Oh, God. Okay, so I have Ricciardo and the racing point behind me. That was the sausage curb, not exactly ideal.
That's a bit of a lock up there. Just trying to follow him. I didn't... Okay, I'm finally settling into a rhythm. Just took a couple laps. Mm, turned in too early. Clipped that inside curb. That's not helpful. to say I was getting the, the rhythm so I I'm there stroll like I'm there This will make my car kinda spin easier, but I need the turning in through the corners. I need more cornering ability. I need to corner with mechanical grip, not because of the ballast. Can you downshift? God damn it. Right, come in at the end of this lap. Release, release. Okay, not too bad. 2.3 second pit stop. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. So right behind Norris, so we are going to get pulled by him a bit. Getting the arrest and all that good stuff. When am I supposed to pit? Lap 36. Okay. Oh my god, the car actually wants to make a corner. <laughs> hey cow, what's up man? The strategy is a two-stopper. Ultra, super, super. Where did I qualify? P16, because I increased the AI too much. And I'm also racing without the racing line and uh, on a setup I'm not comfortable with, so... Those things don't necessarily help.
doing good? Well, that's great. <laughs> What's going on with me today? Okay, I'm going to turn on the racing line just to see. Is it because I'm not using the line? Or is it actually the car? Or is it actually me? Like, I, I have to find out. No, I think it's the car. It is very triggering that I can't downshift. It's even more triggering because this is a freaking $500 wheel, man. So to, I'll never buy Trustmaster again. See, I, I just couldn't get lower 7th. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I bought it too long ago, like I don't have warranty anymore. It's just like the switch on the pedal shifter. Like, I can listen. It's a different kind of click from one pedal to the other. I'm like, this one... I, I really want to break the wheel, man. They're wasting my money. Uh, I mean, the wheel is fine. It's just really the pedal shifters. I'm just going to... Yeah, now it's fine. Like, a while from now, it's going to start... Oh, yeah, it's probably fine, man. Don't, like, don't...
Oh, Raikkonen is out. Well, that's unfortunate for him. And yeah, it started again. Green flag. I think it's like from the use, like the the switch or whatever is inside this gets worn out. But I don't really want to open the wheel because I, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's normal. I just have to squeeze the pedal shifter as if I want to break it with my bare hands. And then it works. But I have to press it like I, like I want to break it. Okay, so now let's start going, let's catch up to Ricciardo. He's going to start, he's doing ultra, ultra, ultra and then soft. Well, when you say a long time ago, how long is it? Over an hour? Oh, that's not too much. Maybe they just got like stuck in traffic or something. No idea what they want to do, of course, but... Okay, three seconds to Ricciardo. I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with the car now. But yeah, after this live stream is done, I will take like 10 minutes and then start Bahrain.
Maybe she got her team training. I don't know. Like that's possible. Like it's a sport, people can get injured. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to make more races today, don't worry. Today I'm going to do multiple streams, I'm going to stream like as long as I can. Holy cow, it's got... Yeah, it better get, because that's... That's a very weird pit entry and exit. Yeah, if it was in the main street, it might have held up the traffic. Because, like, even if they cut the traffic in the main street, if people from the main street are, ta are trying to take uh, every secondary road at the same time, that might be a problem. Okay, so what's the gap to Ricardo? Let's find out in a bit. 4.2, I'm losing to him. I mean, he has softer tires, I guess, but... Lost the rear through there, god damn it. Whew. That was a bit too hard on the curb. Oh, they did well that's great oh boy Just typical mom, really. <laughs> that 
God damn it, I got stuck in seventh again. Wow, this is really being like a lonely race. Well, I'm sorry about this. I guess this isn't like very entertaining, but... I'm trying my best to catch up. At least the troll was spicing things up. Cool, <laughs> fight fort well, that's great, man. You are in Canada, right? Yeah, I really like Canada. It's one of my favorite circuits. Like that's a Ferrari battling a Force India ahead as well. Yeah, I'm not supposed to get third gear through there. <laughs> Whew. You want to kill Jeff? Why? You have me to entertain. I don't consider myself too big of an entertainer. But, well, I appreciate that you guys enjoy it, nonetheless. Well, yeah, if, if, if it starts raining, what you have to do is wait until the DRS is disabled. When the DRS is disabled, that means you must pit for the rain. Because that means the, the intermediate tires are not the best tire. What the hell? Why did I downshift midway through that straight? That was so dumb of me. Driver behind. Driver in front. Ricardo ahead. The gap to the car ahead is 5.3 seconds. We're dropping back by around 4 tenths a lap. They're on old ultra softs. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 25.9. Oh boy, that was so bad. Yeah, Ricardo is still gaining uh, time on me. Oh my god, I'm improving sector times. Is this real life?
Ricardo. At least I haven't been losing that much considering... Oh my god. Considering Ricciardo uh, has been on the Ultrasofts, I haven't been losing that much time. Okay, so Alban is in the pits. I don't know what strategy is on, but going to pit in six laps from now. At least I've been consistent in my lap times. Damn it. As soon as I say that, I lose three tenths in two corners. Ricardo is stopping now. Oh, Ricardo is in the pace. He's going to undercut me. He's going to get brand new sets of ultras. Okay, gap to leader, one seconds. You miss Hartley? Huh? I don't think he was given a proper chance. Yeah, but... I don't think he was given a proper chance, but I also can't say he's better than Alban, right? I would rather have him in a Toro Rosso than freaking Kvyat, but... Like, what's weird for me is that this car looked better in practice than in qualifying. Like, in terms of the setup. That's so weird. Now that I'm getting later in the stint, I'm improving my lap times. This is weird. I 
I pressed like seven times to drop from sixth to fifth and nothing. Good players in the pits. He's basically in the same strategy as I am, just undercutting me. If Sirotkin could move to Ferrari, uh, I mean, I guess he could. Like, Sirotkin in a Mercedes would win the championship. Because the car in, like, the driver in F1 doesn't matter as much in the car. That's why Ayrton Senna, despite being the greatest of all time, in my opinion, wasn't winning championships with a Tolman. Because that car sucked. Like, doesn't matter how good of a driver you are, if you are in a car that sucks, you can't do much about it. Put Hamilton in the Williams and see if he wins any championships. Okay, gap ahead is 8.8 .8 seconds. Yellow flag. Oh, that's Perez! And he's parked right in the middle of the track. I don't know how that didn't cause an accident with anybody yet. But yeah, Perez was on the wall there. He was battling with Vettel. Maybe Vettel and Perez collided. I guess that Ferrari just transferred these mission spin now powers to <laughs> to the Force India or Racing Point. Pitting two laps from now. I'm losing the RS, I'm not even pushing and I'm losing the RS. This is weird. I guess I have to improve the RS. Look at this, I'm on standard and I'm... Flashback that I'm sorry guys, but yeah, my car decided to not downshift again Do I think 2019 will have a ballast option? I think so. Oh, I missed him. God damn it. I just got killed. And whoop. <laughs> God damn, yeah, I didn't, I wasn't expecting him to get that quick, uh, like, close to me. I'm going to block him, because I don't really want to go side by side with anyone into this chicane. Now, if he wants, he can overtake me with the RS, but...
Can you downshift? Thank you. No, I can get DRS for one lap. Hey, good living. What's up, man? How are you doing? Not seeing the yellow bugs, you? Well, I, I get, I understand that, but I'm not in VR. If I was in VR, the yellow column wouldn't bother me. But I have a monitor in front of me. I'm not in VR, so. Like I can deal with the antenna because it's small enough, but the halo column is too big for me to be able to to look past it. In VR, you can look past it, just like you can look past your own nose, right? But uh, yeah, not when it's a monitor in front of you. Use look to Apex at six. I don't. I don't. Uh, what do I use? I use four. Yeah. Okay, so back to P10. Ricardo is taking super softs, he's going to pit one more time for ultras. Ricardo did uh, ultra, ultra, super, ultra. I'm not pitting until the end of the race, so for me it's fine. He's getting pulled, he's getting DRS and slipstream and all that from the McLaren in front of him though. Let's see if I could catch up to those two. Uh, Ricardo undercut me, but uh, his tires are much older than mine. Well, I'll try it at 6 then. Um... To be honest, I don't notice much difference. Oh, I understand that. I'm just really I'm I'm just not really using the Halo man. Like again, if if you guys like the Halo, that that's great for you. That but I just prefer to not use it. Like I, I'm not gonna die if someone crashes in front of me. So don't really need the Halo. 
This is just a pretend car on a pretend circuit. So, yeah. Do I know Jimmy Broadband? Yes, I know him. I mean, I don't know him in person, but I know his content, of course. I, I regularly watch him. That's really the only motorsports guy that I sometimes do watch. Because he usually starts live streaming uh, at the time I'm about to end my live stream. So while I'm editing stuff, I can listen to his live stream. Is life now well great for him? Yeah, I, I, I like his content, I really do. God damn it, if only I had the paddle shifter that actually downshifted my gears. God damn it. God damn it, man. Okay, let's see if we can catch Ricciardo. Driver in front. He's doing 124.8, I think I'm quicker than him. So yeah, I guess we are going to start catch, uh, closing in on him. Yeah, look at that, half a second quicker. Yeah, I really need to upgrade my ERS, because I'm losing ERS without even, like, pushing it. Why don't I like Arava's content? I, I like his content, I just don't have time to watch him. Have I, ever have, uh, have I ever had stuttering in this game? Yes, I had. Uh, it's not as I don't I don't have it as hard as some other people have like the game considering what I've seen the game is rather smooth like at the moment I'm running it at almost 70 FPS so yeah I'm, I'm not really having many issues but I get the occasional stutter yes it's just not it doesn't stutter even as hard as I've seen some other people stutter I never crashed because of a stutter really Okay, so I just lost the arrest conveniently. <laughs> oh, come on, down shift. Five point zero seconds. 
But yeah, I'm going to be live streaming multiple times today. I'm going to do Bahrain after this one. Uh, after this live stream is done, I'll do like a 10, 20 minute break just to have something to eat. And then I'll get back for the for the Bahrain Grand Prix. And I'll just see how long I can live stream for. So I'm going to try to live stream until at least FP3 in real life. Uh, FP3 for me starts at about 3 a.m. or so. So I'm going to try to live stream. Can you? Oh, wrong button. Yeah, I turned 13 in 6th year. <laughs> Dead. Just said either well, hopefully it was nice. But yeah, man. Maybe I might not be able to live stream as I wanted today. Because, like, this is getting frustrating, man. my battery and I'm still losing ERS consistently yeah I have to make some upgrades to it the card is now battling one of the Force Indias Yeah, I'm not getting pissed off with the game. This time it's my wheel that's not downshifting. I'm going to have to open it and see what's wrong. Okay, fortunately I didn't get damage there. Stroll is in the pits, okay, so I was expecting that. Gotta go. Okay, man. Have a good day.
Okay, so we are really closing in on Ricardo now, which is great. It might get it might get spicy at the end. I mean, he still has to pit, doesn't he? So I'm not really battling him. I don't know if I could catch up to Vettel. Can you downshift? Perez has an issue. Unfortunately for him, he's not really going to have a good time catching up to me. Wow, I just got purple third sector. Okay. That's a bit weird, but okay. Okay, the gap behind is 9.8 seconds. I'm actually improving, like my tires are starting to go, but I'm actually improving my lap time somehow. I wasn't supposed to go to third gear there, that was dumb. <laughs> That's the grass, yep. Are you alright? Engine off, engine off. Yeah, that was unfortunate. God damn it, just dead. Yeah, I'm improving my lap time because in this lap, the car has actually downshifted in every corner so far. Well, welcome back. Because I'm closing in on Ricardo. I think I'm also closing in on, on Vettel, though. I think I'm also closing in on Vettel. This Lance Stroll just got the fastest lap of the race somehow. That was close. Mm. 
Yep, it just stopped working for the last three corners. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll open up the wheel after this race and see what's going on with it. I don't know how to do it, but I'll figure it out. There's no problem with that. I know it's long. I understand not everyone has time to, to watch every single video uh, in full. And, and look at this. I just can't downshift. And now I downshifted too much. Because I'm just pressing randomly trying to get it to downshift. Two seconds to Daniel. And Vettel just overtook a Haas, it looks like. Gap to car in front is 2.7 seconds. Well, I'm going as fast as I can, really. Yeah. I'm even losing fuel now, okay. Okay, man, see you later. I really want to get Danny. 
It would be fun to battle him. And of course, if I get myself on his DRS zone, or on his DRS range, I can start um, saving fuel. Oh, don't worry, LGS. Don't, don't need to apologize. One point eight on Danny. Five laps to go. Oh, I really do want to catch him. God damn it. Oh, Gasly is out of the race. So I think I'm going to get promoted one position. So boot, <laughs> boot Red Bulls, just like last season. Boot retire from the race. Wow. You can see the yellow flags where he just retired. Let's go get him! Is that Haas a backmarker or what? Because if I could get him, that would be nice. To finish top 5 would be great. Ah, I got the sausage curb. Turned in like centimeters too early Was too greedy on the power there. Just have to work a bit harder. I know I'm quicker than him. My tires are fresher. Stroll is lapping one second per lap quicker, I mean, he's on fresher, softer tires, so that's expected. We pulled off the fastest lap of the race a couple laps ago, so... Mm, that was a bad exit. Boy, that was too much. Yeah, that was just too much. God damn it. I'm trying to push. I'm not trying to corner cut. I'm just pushing.
Okay, that was a back marker. That wasn't the car racing for position. That was K Mac. Okay. God, what's wrong with me? Okay, we need some energy harvesting. Reduce ERS deployment. I keep on bottling it. Is it my tires? Maybe. Yeah, we really have lots of work to do in the car. We have two laps of fuel remaining. Dropping a second a lap to the car behind, one second. Can you downshift? Come on! Two laps. I would like to have to put like the two fastest laps of my life, really, to catch up to Danny. I bet. Yeah, it's more than two seconds now. I really bottled it by going wide in turn four. Oh, who's on yellow? Did someone get a puncture or something? Yeah, and there you have it, Lewis Hamilton posts the fastest lap of the race as he crosses over the line to take home the win of this Australian Grand Prix. So it just led from lights to flag, really, I think. So yeah, just in control performance. I'm going to guess Bottas came home P2. Hulkenberg got the fastest lap. Did Hulkenberg get P3? Maybe, let's see. Was it the first career podium for, from the German? Let's find out. Okay, 16th to 7th. Yeah, that was, that was a good race. It was a tough one, but well, 16th to 7th. How exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. Yeah, we were so close to getting Ricciardo there are at the end. drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well deserved victory. Mercedes then are on top today. So, yeah, Charles was the one getting P3. 
So there you have it, a 1-2 for Mercedes. As bought as the last, the first season uh, world champion gets so in P2. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if Bottas can get a second championship in a row. Or if will Hamilton strike back. Here's how things look in the driver's table. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the driver's championship after an excellent result. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I have to give it to the captain. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula One. On to the constructors then. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. After all that excitement, it's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us and goodbye until the next race. Yeah, the fuel delta changes when you are like between the dry and the wet conditions. It, it changes. Yeah, that's a bit weird, but that's just how it goes. Great work out there today. How do you think it went? Okay, so. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? Yeah, you change until the RS is activated. Uh, because before the RS is activated, it means that the intermediates are still slightly better. Things look close between you and your rival for a bit, but you came out on top. We all underestimated you, didn't we? Do you think you were lucky not to end your race with that? Nope. <laughs> Great. Well, that's everything. Yeah, just try to hold on to it until it becomes. Has the rain already stopped? If it has stopped, it, it will. It won't be long until uh, it becomes um, dry again. So yeah, I would say if the rain already stopped, I would say a maximum a maximum of five laps. Just try to conserve. Try to be smooth on the power now. Yeah, very soon it will it will change to dries. Just try to be smooth on the throttle and on the steering wheel, just to avoid wearing out the, the tires too much. And you'll be fine after that. So yeah, we won the rivalry against Kimi Raikkonen. Finishes like that will look good on your contract review. Which is great. On to the next one. We've received invitations to new historic events. You'll be able to choose whether or not to participate before the end of this weekend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on this. And do I have enough for this minor energy recovery? I do. I'm going to start working on that. That's going to be deployed at China, hopefully. Uh, after that, I'll do that major uh, energy recovery. And I'll go until the end of these uh, with these two minor engine power. And after that, I will start working on the chassis and the aerodynamics. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting that you are on a uh, uh, playing on a keyboard. I, I always forget that. <laughs> I just always forget that. But yeah, let's move to the next weekend. Let's see any notifications we might have. Uh, and then we are going to, to wrap up the live stream. Hopefully I can, in about 20 minutes time, start another live stream. But like, I I'm going to see if I can take care of, of, of the, the downshifting issue. And hopefully, hopefully, I can come back. So yeah, we didn't have any notifications. So yeah, guys, this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like button. If you did not, the dislike button is, as always, right beside it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Hit the like button for any notifications of whenever I'm about to start a live stream or to post a video. If you are on YouTube, if you are on Twitch, a follow would be greatly appreciated. Hope to see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.